Yes! <laughs> oh my. Yes! Holy crap. Beginning of the game, I'm like, hey, hey, they've got their third shot before Washington has their 17th, unlike what happened against Ottawa. And this game was buggered. Buggered from the, from the beginning. Uh, God, missed penalties, some other calls, some... We're going to Toronto to check out if this goal counts and this penalty counts. And is this a, is this a double minor high stick? No, he just skated his visor into his face because his head skated into a shoulder of a passerby. Some calls were overturned and it made sense. And other calls, well, if you look at my channel, Craig Berube loses his absolute shit. And he's just telling the refs to look at it. If you've seen the game, you'll understand. And then in the end, go Leafs go. Toronto pulls out a 4-3 comeback win against, at the time, the 10-4 and Washington Capitals. Now they're 10-5. and The Leafs are now 10, what, 6-2? and This is game 18. Holy crap. Um, the game just finished. I'm... I am so tired, but I gotta make this because I will forget otherwise. Or it'll be tomorrow and it'll be too late and, and my hype will be gone. My excitement. Um, Washington scored first to make it it won nothing. I don't even remember how the goal went in, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. And then John Tavares went inside and outside and inside and outside and around the D and then Sandine overcommitted as Tavares beat his defender, and Bobby McMahon was left all alone, and, and Thompson in the net, former Vegas goal knight, he slid over with his right-handed glove, and, oh, oh my. Bobby McMahon throws a five-hole, while Thompson's falling onto his ass, and that made it 1-1, and it was great. And then, what was the was the first goal? Did it, did it go off Domi, a leaf? I think the first goal was off a leaf. It was Radish, that's what happened. Um, and then the second goal happened. Don't really remember. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Am I going to watch the replay? Probably. But I made this first. Second goal happened. I know the third goal didn't count because, oh, the second goal. Was the second goal the one where, um, what's his name, passed it to Ovechkin, and then there was a double block, and then Sanding got the assist to make it 2-1, maybe. And then the third goal, Sandine set up Carlson, where he took the shot uh, and it went in, but there's goaltender interference because you can't make contact with the goalie in the blue crease, in which they did, so that got overturned. That would have been the third goal. And then Sandine actually set up the third goal because the second goal, I think, was Strom, who's having a hell of a season, where uh, I think it might have been a misplay by Nice. And then he, he got in there and he almost he went around wall and then he stuffed it in there that's what happened yeah was it nice turnover maybe oel lost his man Tavares lost his man and strom got in all alone that's that's what i remember off the top of my head god this this visual i'm trying to give just just watch the highlights because this has been terrible um i'm wired holy um and then we think lorenz makes it three two uh because dewar gets robbed and then he gets robbed again and then lorenz gets robbed and then the puck's in the air, and Lorenz just drives the net, and he, like, pushes his arms forward. But his leg does go forward as well. Hits off his knee and goes in, so it's a no goal because it's redirected with the body. Makes sense to me. Do I wish it wasn't? Of course. But, hey-o. Um, but then uh, Matthew Nyes did Matthew Nyes things. There was a turnover by uh, Wilson, who's somehow making, what, $6 million a year or something like that. Over five is too much. Um, and Nyes goes in and he's going, he's just triple deacon, quadruple deacon. Uh, and then he hits the post, but William Nylander's there because he stays in front of the net because William Nylander remembers like, oh yeah, I've scored a lot of goals just in front of the net. So he does. He scores for his, what, 12th of the season, I think. He's tied for the lead with Caulfield and Dreisaitl and Reinhardt, if I remember correctly, they said on the broadcast. And that made it 3-2. And then right after that, Matthew Nyes with the tip and... They call it no goal right away because they say it's high sticking. And then like one replay, you're like, okay, his stick was above the crossbar. But as he came down, he made contact. It looked like it was below when he made contact. The referees, I don't even think they went to Toronto for this one. They just kind of looked at it and said no goal because they already called it no goal. And Barube lost his crap. 
and it was great. He, did, he was very disappointed in the refs. I think he said, you don't even know the rules. Um, and that's how I felt. I was like, how is this no goal? But it, it is what it is, I guess. Referees have the final say, and they called it no goal. So if Toronto were lost tonight, I would have been even more, I'd be more pissed. Because obviously I'm not, because they, the refs are like, Ooh, maybe we did an oopsies, because there definitely should have been a penalty on Marner or someone, because a Capitals player fell when uh, Toronto's goalie was pulled, and the Capitals decided, like the Ottawa Senators, how they don't like to shoot it in the open net, um, and they just couldn't do it. And Matthew Nyes had a great play coming back, leading to then Washington taking a penalty against Nyes, because obviously they are pissed off about the non-call, and then them not shooting in the net three or four times when they had a chance. And then Toronto went on the power play, and it was the draw goes to William Nylander. It goes over to Morgan Riley, who feeds it over to Marner, and Marner takes a like a one knee going down, both knees, I think, and he, he roofs it, and that made it 3-3, and it was great. Then it went to overtime, and it was chaos, utter chaos. Marner got a one-to-one bit at one point. I think Nyes had a go. Carlson hit the post. Ovechkin was all alone in front of the net coming into the zone. Um, and Joseph Wall said, I'm coming out to the top of the circle to make this save. And he does. And Mitch Marner goes, get out of here. And John Tavares goes, okay. Oh, you meant the puck. Oh, no, I can beat the goalie there. And he does. And Thompson doesn't come out. And Tavares goes and he opens up. Like he's going to go to the back end, and which opens up Thompson's legs. And Tavares puts a five hole and the Leafs win 4-3. And we can all go home happy. Um, Toronto, a lot of times during this game, like, I miss Austin Matthews. And even after this win, I miss Austin Matthews. But they dug in deep in that third period. And I don't know what Berube, what Chief said to the boys, but it worked. Maybe he said nothing. Maybe, like, William Nylander stepped up and Marner. And, and to start the third period, I well, Chief obviously said something because it was, we're going to go... Tavares and Marner's line, you're going first. And then Willie, you and Domi, you're going. And then Tavares, get back out there. And then Willie, get back out there. And I think they had the first six to eight shifts was just those two. They shortened that bench like any AAA team would. We're only playing the good guys. And it, it created this momentum, obviously. And they just packed it on against Washington. They got back to play in their game, what they've done to be successful and Toronto deserves this win. We deserve this win. Especially because they played like utter crap against Ottawa. God, this is awesome. Uh, comment down below your thoughts on this game. I've got nothing else to say. I loved it. I thought Steve's had a good game coming in there. Nick Robertson didn't get to play, but he did take a picture with a fan, which is really cool. Uh, a fan that was there had a sign. Wanted to see Robertson. Akambaugh played. Yeah, he was a bit slow, but he's a big boy, and he'll get there again. He'll get there again. Tanev was Tanev. OEL was OEL. McCabe had a rough game. Puck was jumping on him a few times. I think that third goal might have been because of it hopping over McCabe. Whatever. He, 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 he improved. He improved after they were down by two. Um, Tanev was Tanev. And Joseph Wall made that huge save on, uh, on Ovi at the end. And he gave Toronto a chance to win exactly what uh, needed to be done. Woo! I can go to bed happy. Take care, everyone. See you next one. Go Leafs, go. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Freaking right, Toronto.